Max Dreyer Tagbuch, June 4th, 1939. Our nation is dust in the wind, and I burn for her. I burn for a child turned woman, a scant 365 days in the past. I burn as no grandfather should. Oh, not my grandchild. No flesh of my flesh, nor blood of my blood. No. She is Hazel, reincarnated. Pleasure as a man at the end of life, treasure save fantastical fantasies of self-indulgence. I can no more have Louisa than Jesus will create a Lazarus of Hazel. But this girl, this woman, this treasure at the crossroads, this golden idol who looks beyond her love's deformities and loves what is within, this tabula rosa that causes my heart and soul to weep while simultaneously provided palliation for my ever-tormented form. This is Louisa's power. If ever there was a carbon copy of Hazel, it is Louisa, Hazel, dead a score of years, less a score of days brought back in the flesh, a living, breathing reminder of the wife I had so briefly, whom... I love so fully and who merged as flesh with my flesh and soul with my soul to create deformity. A deformity whose very birth extinguished Hazel's life, a foul product of the same merging that had previously produced the perfect son, a son whose growth condemned me to the pseudo life of a carnival barker, a hawker of deformities, of abnormalities reduced me to B.B. the clown to a life populated with companions that constantly pull on the scabs of my grief. <laughs> Louisa, how I burn for you, how you torment me with your love for another and your self-imposed imprisonment. I burn not just with lust, but with shame. Shame because a child has achieved what I have not. You see beyond a monster's hideous to eye and touch exterior and love what is within. While well, I failed in even the most basic fatherly duty of nurturing and protecting my Drew. Will you too fall prey to our great ringmaster? Or will you break the chains your beloved and I bear? Chains forged by our jailer and savior. The interminable Mr. Flip? <laughs>